Welcome to First Grantham United Church morning prayer for the week of August 16th to 20th. We'll begin with a responsive reading from Psalm 84, verses 1 to 5, 7 to 9. I love you, God. My heart races when I am in your presence. My blood pulses with joy when I think of you. You never turn anything away from you. You encourage swallows to nest under your eaves and worms to tunnel in your earth. Each creature plays its part in your universal symphony. Whatever strength we have, we get from you. Refreshed and renewed, we rise eager for each new day and find that every road leads us to you. When we cannot cope, you carry us. You see us, you know us, you look into our hearts. You lift us when our knees melt with weariness. You hear our prayers. Our reading today is from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 14 to 18 from the message. And I'll read it three times. We'll do it Lectio Divina style. I'll leave a brief silence. And when we read it the first time, just listen. The second time through, listen for a word or phrase that stands out for you. And then the third time, take that word or phrase deeper into prayer and maybe even carry it with you throughout your week. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than just words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. In the same way, prayer is essential. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than just words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. In the same way, prayer is essential. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than just words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. In the same way, prayer is essential. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. And now for some prayers for ourselves and others. You hear our prayers, says the psalmist with confidence. When our knees melt with weariness, you lift us up. O oh God, we do come with confidence and bring our prayers to you. We pray for ourselves that we may have the strength and energy to meet the demands of daily life. We pray for each other. We know that sometimes spirits flag and hope is hard to find. We pray for our friends and families. And God, today and every day, we pray for the wider world. We pray for all people we know and all people we don't know. We pray for this community and for all other communities and places. We pray for the long list of people who have specially asked for our prayers. Hear us now as we bring all of these prayers to you. Hear our prayers, O God, and in your love answer. Amen. And our closing affirmation today from the Iona Abbey Worship Book, we are called from the ends of the earth. We are called from the center of our lives, men and women, young and old, rich and poor, strong and weak. We are called into God's love to yearn for justice, 
and to pray for peace. Amen.